My name is Laura. I'm the CEO of VMD Hypoallergenics and today I'm going to be talking to you about virgin coconut oil and monolaurin as antimicrobials and how we use them in our home and in our research clinic and even in our plant. Before I get into that, please like, subscribe to our channel and click the little bell to make sure you don't miss uh, notifications of new content that we're getting out there. Uh, my mom is our founding dermatopathologist and based on a lot of her research, actually if you Google her, um, you'll find a lot of clinical trials on virgin coconut oil and monolaurin specific to the skin and also antimicrobial care uh, is by her. And in addition, she just did a recent review of several studies from as far back as the 1970s on monolaurin. I have a fun bird with me that I call the ew bird <laughs> on cue on virgin coconut oil and monolaurin. And it really is incredible looking at how many years of studies have shown how effective virgin coconut oil and monolaurin and other coconut oil derivatives are on a broad spectrum of microbes from bacteria to fungi and to viruses, including enveloped and coronaviruses. So there are wonderful studies on the antimicrobial effects of virgin coconut oil, monolaurin, uh, SLS, and other coconut oil derivatives have already been published and well accepted over several, several decades. And now there are new studies to sort of build on that. Um, excitingly, one of the studies, or at least one instance of monolaurin being effective on an enveloped coronavirus was on the Argentinian hemorrhagic fever virus, which is also a coronavirus. And newer studies are starting now on VCO and um, this particular new uh, novel coronavirus that's behind COVID-19. So what we do as a disinfection protocol at home, my mother's high risk, she has ovarian cancer and is older, she's 81, and also just because we, we work with patients um, and we work with immunocompromised people who have skin barrier defect, we're pretty careful about our protocols. Obviously wash your hands and we'll recommend our typical favorite superwash here, skin saving hair and body shampoo. This actually, the reason it's so beat up is this is the one that's behind, like that we put on our sinks in the bathrooms. Everyone uses it as a hand wash as well. Or any of the super skincare cleansers or scrubs. The reason we recommend these two products in particular, or any cleanser from the super skincare line, is because they both contain SLS, which is sodium laureth sulfate. And sulfates have gotten a bad rap, but we'll do a whole thing on that separately. Um, SLS is actually not an allergen. The sulfates actually aren't allergens. They can be irritating at higher concentrations, but these are nice, acceptable concentrations. Plus, there are no other allergens in the formulation. So they're really nice and gentle on the skin. And with so much hand washing, it's important to have something that is allergen free, uh, no fragrance for sure. Hand dermatitis has become so common that the European Task Force on Contact Dermatitis actually published a statement saying, please try to use unscented um, disinfectants and soaps and follow with a moisturizer right after. So we would recommend cleansers that are allergen free or really hypoallergenic, validated as such. And in addition, have SLS. SLS is a coconut oil derivative and also a very well studied, very studied, very well established antimicrobial. And so we do that, you know, the typical 20 second thing and the webbing under the nails, et cetera, up to the elbows. We even encourage people to wash their faces when they come to work and when they come back home. We then follow with, and this is extremely beat up, I can't even show you the bottle, but I can show you the product. Id Monolaurin Gel or um, the Kid Gloves hand gel and as you can see I'm putting it everywhere under the nails up here and check it out it's gonna go <laughs> I'm not gonna put it up my but yeah you put it up your nose if you want to um, what you'll notice immediately about the hand sanitizer is because it's not primarily relying on alcohol for a disinfectant it's a little gooey you'll feel the lipid and this is kind of important because people forget that alcohol evaporates this, as a lipid, coats the skin and stays on longer. 
and clinical studies, all these clinical studies that I've been talking about show monolaurin as effective as 80% isopropyl alcohol as a broad spectrum antimicrobial, except it lasts longer and is far gentler on the skin because it's anti-inflammatory, et cetera, et cetera, all the great things that we know from coconut derivatives. So after the uh, monolaurin hand sanitizer, we then ask everyone at home and again, you know, in our plant and in the clinic to follow with no wood oil, which is our clinically published organic virgin coconut oil, or oils well, which is the same thing but has monolaurin. And basically, right, I don't know if you can see that, you apply it. Oops. You don't actually need all that much, and it's the same thing. It's on the arms, nails, webbing, all of that stuff. COVID is spread, it's something like 80%, 90%, primarily through skin and mucosa. Um, in addition, we will ask people to get like a tissue or a Q-tip. My mom does it with her hands, but that's because she's here at home. Um, and dip it into the coconut oil and actually get it into the nostrils, massage very gently to break down the fatty acids. And that's our arrival protocol at work. And then we ask people when they arrive at home to actually do a full shower. And again, use superwash uh, for hair and body. And then do the monolaurin and do the virgin coconut oil again on the hands and up the nose and actually when you put it up the nose to also <sighs> inhale it deeply. So there, and if you find that your hands are getting extremely dry from all the hand washing, as always, we'd recommend a barrier repair something. So Boo Boo Balm is for all boo-boos, including this, and it has organic virgin coconut oil as well, our same clinically published oil, and monolaurin. Uh, as well as the occlusive barriers. So you can apply that on your hands if they're really damaged already. So I hope that that helps add to your important protocols for protection and disinfection, including wearing your mask and your face shield and keeping socially distanced from everybody. Um, we hope you liked this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe and click the little button We'll have the, all the products mentioned here down below that you can click on. And if you have any questions, certainly add them to the comments. And if you'd like to learn anything else about how a dermatopathologist might see certain skin conditions or ingredients, let us know in the comments. And if you would like me to talk about anything else at VMV that you're curious about, let us know as well. Thank you very much.